Hey guys, this is Jason Taves here, and I'm going to show you how to design a different style of gallery that might be a little tricky uh, if you're first starting out. So I'm going to try and make it super simple for you, and we're going to go ahead and, and build it here on this Bordeaux uh, style group that I've been building. Now, I've been building this in live stream events where people can come in and, and watch us design a site, uh, watch us design a style group, and then make that available to all the viewers. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to check out the information below this video. Okay, so uh, what are we creating today? We are going to create a mosaic or tiled gallery. Now, this is something that Showed is intending to add in as a straight widget uh, under the galleries, but right now that's not available. So we're going to use we're going to be using these simple galleries like I've used here, and we're going to create uh, something that looks a little bit like this. Uh, yes, I've used creepy images of myself, but that's okay because I'm not really creepy. I do love cats though, um, but this is this is going to be kind of a preview of what we're creating. Uh, so it's pretty straightforward, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete all of this work and start from scratch and show you how to do it. Okay, um, so let's start by turning that off, making it invisible. So we're going to start with a blank canvas here, and the initial height that I'm going to set for this canvas is 600. Um, that's just going to make it uh, easy for us to kind of start from. We'll end up resizing this as we go, but this is a good place to start. Okay, the first thing we're going to want to do is add a gallery into this. So we're going to choose gallery here from, from the bottom widget area, and it brings up this, this red square. Now, in terms of uh, building a mosaic gallery, building one of these tile galleries, it's really not difficult. The hardest thing is spacing everything out. I'm going to show you some really cool tools that show it's got inside of it already to make that so much easier. All right. So we're just going to start with this red box for now. Uh, we're going to change the size to a, a simple four by six. So 400 by 600 pixels. That's under size and position. Once you've selected the object, press enter. Okay. Now that's going to give us something that's as tall as our canvas. We don't really need it that tall. So we're just going to pull it down a little bit. Um, I, Ideally, we'd like to leave about the same padding on all sides. So you can eyeball that for now. We'll, we'll fix it later. Make sure it's precise. Okay, so we have one big uh, vertical image here. And now let's create some pieces on the side. Now in that other example that I built, uh, I, I, I did it in a way where we just could copy and paste. So control C, control V, or command if you're on a Mac. And we're going to take that first element, we're going to bring it over here to the right hand side. Now, this is very similar to album design, if you guys have ever done that, uh, in terms of just laying things out. You can have different spreads, you can have different layouts. Um, so I'm going to design a couple different layouts, we're going to put them all together. Okay, so we've got this over here. Now, we can see it's a little bit higher, a little bit off center, and this is where it's going to we're going to use some of the alignment tools that show it's got built in. So I've got area over here selected. I'm going to hold down shift and click on the other one. Right now you can see this little white gap. These lines show um, the entire selection. We see that there's a spacing issue. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to align to group. This is a group that we have selected. We're going to choose align to the middle. That's going to line them up perfectly in the middle. Okay. Easy as that. The next thing we're going to paste that same gallery in here, and we are just going to adjust it so that it is, uh, let's do, it is a width and 400 is the height. Now the reason I do that is just to get the right aspect ratio. Then I'm just going to pull it down, um, hold it, you just drag it down and you can keep that aspect ratio. Okay, now I want to make sure it's aligned to the top and evenly distributed. Uh, so the way to do this, this distribution is you can bump it up against 
uh, another gallery. So what I've done here is I've put it right next to this gallery. Arrow, if I use the arrow keys and push it over to the right one, I get this white space. So I know that I'm one pixel away. And when I bump it back up, I'm exactly next to it. And I'm going to click it. I'm going to hold shift and click the right arrow. And I know that's exactly five pixels away. All right, now I'm going to pull this one over here back up again that I've just moved. I'm going to do the same thing. I know that's exactly five pixels between this one, this one, and that one. Okay, so we're going to select the three of going to align that to the center of the canvas. This is just going to put it right in line with all the other design elements that we've been doing. Okay, so this middle gallery, we just copy and move it down. Uh, once again, we know that we only need to be five pixels below because uh, we want to keep the spacing, the path, each gallery the same. So we're going to bump it right up against the other one. Hold shift, press down. There we go. So that's a perfect spacing between all of these. Now you notice we've got a little bit of an issue down here. It's a little bit taller, or, or these are a little bit short. Um, so there's a couple different things we can do. I'm going to get in. 10 pixels to each of these so it's going to be 282 two, under size and position and I'm going to add uh, 282 two. okay and then we're going to see if that's what we want so we'll line it straight beneath that one and bump it five is that too much so this is, this is where the, the finicky elements come into play. So I could keep it like this and continue, but then it doesn't give me a clean break if I want to change up the pattern for this the, the next area. Uh, so let's go ahead and just expand this. So I'm going to want to add um, a different type or a different spread. So the, the easiest thing, in my opinion, is just to add a little bit more to the height of these ones. I'm just going to increase it by three. Yeah, I'll bring it down one. Okay, so that's that's even right there. So I can eight. it's 574. I need to increase this one by three to 574. And now this is, this is perfect. So we've got everything set up here exactly like that. Now these elements, these will save for later. We're just going to pop those off to the side here. We'll use these arrows in a little bit. Okay, so I've got one type of spread. Now this, this looks great, necessarily what you want to just repeat down the page. Um, we're going to copy paste uh, that gallery and we're going to line it right up. Uh, in the same way that we did with the others. We'll find that point where we get one little white line in between them and then move it down five. And we want these to be aligned to the left perfectly, this blue just right. Uh, now, something else that we might want to do is just change the kind of the aspect ratio of it. So feel free to play around with that. Uh, and we're just going to make this the exact same width as this gallery above. In this case, the width is 374. Make sure that that's the same, and then we'll line them up together. Now, if you ever have a question uh, about the spacing, you can select these three elements, so this gallery, this one, and this one and you can distribute the horizontal space. That will make sure that this spacing is exactly the same. And what it's going to do is it's going to move this middle image, you know, one way or another to, to match that. And in this case, we've got it all set properly. So it, all right, so now it's just a copy paste game. We can copy paste these elements um, and, and continue building uh, the rest of our next spread. So let's say I wanted a vertical here in the middle. And in this case, it's going to be easiest for me to line it up with these elements above. And then just make sure that they're the same width. 
So in this case, the width is 409. We'll make this one 409. It's pretty close, 410. And, you know, we can make this a square or more of a square image. So we could do 409 by 409. Make that a perfect square. And we could continue this going along down the side. Or we could even make this image in of itself. In this case, the height is 574. So 574. Okay. So now we're 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 just kind of building this mosaic gallery as we go. I mean, you can build this as big or as small as you want. Um, the issue is when you build this, you have to decide kind of from the beginning what types of shapes you want to use. So right now we have four different shapes. We have one, two three. This is the same as these ones up here. Now the best practice would be to keep using those shapes um, and to kind of mix and match them. So we'll copy uh, maybe we want something like this over here. Uh, and we don't want it that long. So let's stick it here in the middle because it's supposed to be in the middle. Anyway. Now I can find that one pixel difference and then drop it by. Make sure everything's aligned at the center of the camera. I could just copy paste one of these over. Just kind of break it up from this tall one right above it. Make sure these are all at the same height. Okay. And we'll cut and paste this guy down here. Yep. So align them to one another, and then we're also going to match the width to make sure it's the same width. Okay. So you know, you have to kind of close everything out. Um, in this case it's probably going to be best to use one of these sizes and just bring it up to the up to the bottom of the other one the finicky part of it is is probably the most time consuming but you know all in all it's it's not too hard to build it. And these at the bottom of this side. Okay. So we've got everything laid out. Uh, and, and now we can populate it with images. This is where you make the choice of do you want this to be all singular images that don't rotate or don't transition at all? And if so, uh, add one image into each one. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and add add some images in here. Oh, that's it. That's it. Um, add an image. Okay, so you, you can just add images in, and then it'll be just a static, almost Pinterest-like um, gallery, uh, masonry gallery, sometimes called. Uh, and, and you can continue that by just adding images all the way through. Or uh, something else I want to show you guys, because it's pretty fun. Um, we're going to use these arrows here. I'm just going to stick them on top of this red area so we can see them easily. And what we can do is we can set these images to uh, a gallery number that we haven't used before. In this case, we're going to go gallery three. We're going to set all of these four galleries to gallery. Okay. 
And then we're going to set these arrows, we're going to set their click actions um, to gallery three, just by adding a gallery, gallery three, and next for the next arrow, and then gallery, gallery three, and previous for the, the previous arrow. And is when we click on each one of these, it's going to automatically transition all four of these galleries at the same time. Now, there's a couple different ways that we can set this up. I'm going to set this up so that it, it's not uh, auto advancing. Let's see. Uh, I guess auto advance doesn't matter in this case. Okay, so. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add different images to each one. I'm gonna add some of these landscape images. You can see the change. Okay. So let's go ahead and preview this. Pull down. Uh, we have it still on auto transition. So it's going to automatically transition, except for that one I feel like I... Um, but it's transitioning all of them. Let me just double check why that one isn't transitioning. Oh, it's because the image didn't add. That's important. Okay. Now we're preview. So with the auto transition on, it's gonna automatically transition through uh, the different images. If you happen, just leave one image in the gallery and it won't transition. Uh, if you want to use the arrows, now the timing's off. Huh. Uh, three seconds, 0 0.5, 333, three, three. okay, that should be fine. Uh, now, if you want to be able to manually change that, you can do that here with these arrows. So you can change, you can just go through, cycle through all four galleries at the same, same time, or you can go backwards through them. Okay? So that's, that's kind of how to, to do the different. Now, the only other thing would be if you want all of them to transition at a different time. So it's kind of a sporadic change of the images. Now this is better like several seconds uh, apart. So like, you know, one, three, five, seven, something like that. It's not all kind of at the same time because if it's too fast, people are going to be, their eyes are going to be jump age. So it's important to kind of spread out that transition time. Uh, even this might even be a little too fast. You see how the transitions are happening really close to one another. So we'd want to randomly spread that out, make sure that it's different. Uh, a couple ways that you can do this is play with the transition time. So instead of a half a second transition and transition um, or two, second transition uh, and we'll try that see how that changes the look okay so these two changed that one was much slower that one changed a little bit faster but at a different time this is a great way to kind of cycle through images if you want it to be a little bit more random now even these transitions as a whole feel a little bit fast to me, but that's something that you just play around in this. So that's how to create and set up a masonry gallery and uh, a large gallery. It's actually really easy if you rely on those alignments and you just remember to keep copy.